snack has played a, a huge part in my training camp. The protein, the, the ZMA, everything. The, the pre-workout has played such a major part in my training camp, keeping me healthy, keeping me recovered, keeping me feeling good, strong, and ready for my next workout. I want to get your thoughts on um, Lomachenko. And um, recently, he, he's looked a lot more vulnerable. And people are, are saying, you know, he's not as good as everyone made him out to be. The counterpoint to that is, no, he's just moving up in weight. And he's a smaller guy. And these bigger guys have better punch resistance. And they could take these punches. And they're going to give a smaller guy a bigger challenge. What's your take? Well, you know, you get into his age and his style of fighting where his legs are his main attribute in fights. His legs get him in position, get him out of position, set him up. He could have could be losing a step or so in his legs, which makes him more vulnerable. Uh, I think I think the uh, what's the fight? What's the guy he dropped with the body shot? Linera's fight opened up a lot of possibilities for other fighters who are fighting him and they're willing to take more chances and not be in such awe of it. Luke Campbell wasn't in awe of him, although I thought Lomachenko fought one of his better fights because he was in a fight. He showed that when he's in a fight, he's going to force to be dealt with, that he will fight you, that you're just not going to walk over him. So whoever beats him is going to have to convincingly beat him. He's just not going to lay down for you. But there could be some slippage there, like in all fighters. But uh, what was missing in the Campbell fight was the footwork that we normally see. It wasn't there. So whether Campbell prepared for it or not and was able to stop it, or whether Lomachenko slowing down, I think Devin Haney gives him a lot of problems. Tank? Does Tank beat him? I think that's an interesting fight. Uh, I think Tank brings a lot to the table that would make Lomachenko very leery uh, and that he would have to change up a lot of things to beat Tank because uh, Tank is very reactive, fast hands, power on each punch, and he's not an easy style to fight himself. And you got two southpaws, so again, that could add a factor to Lomachenko-Campbell fight that he was fighting another southpaw. So I give Tank a great chance of winning that fight. Virgil, as always, it's good seeing you. Thank you. I really appreciate it.